This is lower body with weights three. We're just going to warm up with a little jog to start. I usually don't do a lot of warm up. A lot of people don't like the warm up, but if I want to keep them at 20 minutes, that's how I do it. Um, I assume you're warmed up before you start. But I'm just going to be moving the legs a little bit, getting us warmed up. Starting with some deadlifts, we're going to come down as far as we can, tap the mat if you can, and then come up, and as you come up, tuck in your glute area. Our knees um, are slightly bent. You would always keep them slightly bent when doing any type of work like this. Okay, feet are far apart. We're going to squat down. Put the um, weights on the mat and then we're going to squat down to pick them up. Remember to always keep your knees behind your toes so you're sitting back. Now this, and I'm squeezing my glute area when I stand up. I'm doing all these exercises slow and controlled and when I come up I'm going to squeeze my glute area so I go down pick them up squeeze my glutes and then come down and then leave them on the mat
this will be um, a one-legged deadlift. We're going to have the back foot and um, front. And I'm going to come down, put the weight on the mat, and then come back up. And then I'm going to bring the other weight down, put it on the mat, come back up, and then I'm going to go down and pick both of them up. I noticed um, I did wobble on one. It's harder to do this on the rebounder. That's why we're going slow and controlled. But I found if I put my back foot out a little bit, like have my foot out toward the rim a little bit, it was a little bit easier. But in this position, when both feet are facing forward, it's a little more difficult. Okay, we're switching to the other side so we have the foot out we're gonna come down and we're gonna um, put the back weight onto the mat if you go slow and controlled you're really gonna feel that in your glutes and your hamstrings um, you really sometimes it's hard to work the hamstrings and this is really good for the hamstrings so we're just going to continue in this pattern I do about 20 and 20 meaning each time I come bring one weight down the other one down come back up and get both weights that's one count
okay we have our feet further apart more than shoulder width apart we're going to come down in a squat put one weight down and then um, come back up and then put the other weight down and then come up these are like suitcase deadlifts but we're using the weights we put the weight down we come up oh we decide to put the other one down then we come up and then we come back down to pick them both up we're gonna do some pulsing back we're just pulsing I think for 100 pulsing it back lunge over to one side and then the other side I'm going to keep going down further and then further this is really going to work your inner thigh all these lower body um, workouts with the weights is also working your core when you twist over to the side it's working your obliques but it's also really working your core because your core's got to really tighten up and engage to keep you from falling or teetering. So um, these workouts are a win-win. 